morning guys it is monday april 6th and it is time for our uh weekly video so um just a reminder right off the top okay um my office hours are monday wednesday and friday okay uh from 8 a.m until noon each day i'm available i'm just chilling here in my classroom just waiting waiting to help uh i've received several emails okay that's great. If you would like to meet, if you would like to bring in a friend and do like one of those Zoom meetings or whatever, if you and a friend are stuck, that's fine. We can do that too. I don't care. Okay. Um, that's what I'm here for. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys are staying busy. I hope that you guys are on task. Okay. Remember juniors, your assignment has checkpoints. Okay. Those checkpoints aren't the deadline. They're not the due date. Okay. The due date for your guys' assignment is the 17th. Right? I've had several of you guys that have emailed me and said, oh, Mr. Robinson, Mr. Robinson, uh, I'm not going to be able to get it done. Can I get an extension? Well, you still have time. <laughs> You've got plenty of time. Okay, uh, Read the instructions. Right? That's what I always tell you guys. Read the instructions. Um, freshman, your guys' assignment is due this Friday. Um, I think you guys will be able to knock that out. Oh, there's already a ton of you guys that are done with it, so that's good. Um, so remember to stick with your assignments. Don't fall behind, guys. I promise. If you fall behind, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Okay. A um, couple things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, read to you guys a poem, one of my favorite poems, and I think it's also really applicable to the current situation that we're living in right now. Okay. Um, it's applicable in the way that it helps us uh, possibly kind of get a, a new sense of confidence and a new sense of drive. And, and I, I hope you guys appreciate the poem as much as I do. Okay, so I'll, I'll read it to you guys. And then on Classroom, I will share um, the words to it if you can't understand me or if you wanna just go back and read it or whatever it might be, okay? Um, and then I'll share the questions for the poem at the end. Okay, so the poem is Invictus by William Ernest Henley. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I, th I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. <clears throat> okay, so that's, that's a poem that I've gone back to throughout my life, throughout many challenging times in my life. Um, it's kind of motivation to kind of reinvigorate me a little bit. Okay, um, so on Classroom, I'm going to share this video, obviously. And then I'll share the text to the poem so you can go back through and read it if you'd like. Uh, and then I want you guys to answer these three questions based off of the poem Invictus. <clears throat> okay, uh, what is the message of this poem? Okay, what is uh, Mr. Henley trying to convey with this poem? Okay, um, how does this poem currently apply to our distance learning situation? How can you look at and read through Invictus and apply the message of Invictus to what is currently going on um, with uh, school and everything like that, right? And then finally, how are we the captains of our soul, okay? Excuse me. Um, how are we in charge? How are we the captains of our soul? How are we the deciders of our fate, okay? In terms of our education and whatnot, okay? So there's that. Um, now I received a bunch of emails last Friday when I forgot dad jokes. I know, how could I, how could I do it? And I apologize, that's my bad, that's my bad. Okay, uh, Evelyn, I'm sorry, this is for you, I, I'm sorry I forgot. Okay, so our last dad joke we had was on Monday, March 30th. <clears throat> so I will go to the 31st, Tuesday, March 31st. Why did the noodle get a driving ticket? It drove pasta stop sign. Pasta stop sign. April Fool's Day, April 1st. I don't always tell dad jokes, but when I do, he laughs. He laughs. 
because he's you're telling dad jokes. Thursday, April 2nd. This is for all you choir and band people. What's the most evil chord? D min. I don't get it. Friday, April 3rd. I ordered a book about puns last week, but I didn't get it. Man, that's a good one. I like that. That's good humor. Good, rich, fun humor for everyone. That's going to go over here on this side where the keepers are. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, April 4th and 5th. What is a pirate's favorite letter? You've probably heard this before. You would think R, but it's actually the C. Because they like being out on the open water. And today, Monday, April 6th, my friend genetically modifies salad. She is a rocket scientist. I don't know. I, I, I don't make these up, guys. I'm just, I just go with what I've got. Okay, I can't control the good or the bad, and in this case, the ugly. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Okay, let's stick with our work, okay? Stay on task, don't fall behind. On any of your classes, not just English, okay? It's very difficult if you fall behind, all right? Now, and if, if I post something and you can't have access to it for whatever reason, just shoot me an email, okay? Um, I have to do the, the attendance form that I'll send out to you guys, okay? And I, I realized last week that I screwed it up. Shout out to Angel Lugo uh, for uh, catching that. Appreciate that, bud. Um, I'll go back through and I'll change it so you guys can see the form regardless of if you're on a Chromebook or not and we'll get it all straightened out, okay? So if you have any questions, if you need help, you know where to find me, okay? Have a great week.